as always, I'm going in with my Nature Republic Pure Waterfall Base Primer and I'm going to dot that all over my face. And using clean fingers or hands, I'm going to spread that evenly all over my face. To help create the image of flawless skin, I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown foundation and just lightly dotting that all over my skin and then using a damp sponge, I'm going to lightly spread it evenly. I'm actually not going to set my foundation today because I kind of want that glowy, flawless, youthful skin look. So I'm going to skip the powder and then just leave the foundation as is. To make my skin look even more flawless, I'm going to apply concealer under my dark circles and anywhere where I might have redness or blemishes. Now taking my Tarte Smooth Operator Finishing Powder, I'm just going to set only my eyelid area and my brow area because I'm going to be doing my brows and my eyelids so I'm going to need kind of like a dry surface to start on. Now taking one of my favorite coral blushes, this is from the face shop and it's kind of like a BB cushion version of a blush which is so cool. I'm going to go ahead and apply that on the apples of my cheeks bringing it back towards my ears. Today I'm going to be using my Tartlet palette and I'm going in with the shade Wanderer and it's just a light matte brown shade and I'm just going to apply a very light wash over my eyelids. Now taking a darker brown shade, this is called Multitasker, I'm going to line my lash line and create a very light and subtle wing. After I'm done creating my wing, I'm just going to take a small clean brush and just smudge out the wing that I created so that everything blends in well together. Moving on to my eyelashes, I'm just going to start off by curling them and then I'm going to apply a very light coat of mascara on the upper and lower lashes because you want this look to be very natural and very subtle, you don't want anything too dramatic. And I always save the best for last, which is lipstick. And I'm going in with this very hot pink lipstick and applying it in the center of my lips and blending it out with some concealer for a nice subtle gradient effect. And here's the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you guys want more of these kind of videos, feel free to leave comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!